All right, checking out this car CW9 today. This is a single stack, double action only, uh, nine millimeter, seven plus one capacity. There are your sights right there. If I could get it to focus, you get the gist there. It's not wanting to focus on me. Um, so I recently did the CW380. I'll put a link in the description to that video. So this is, I wouldn't say basically the nine millimeter version of it because uh, there might be a smaller model than this. I'm not sure, but uh, this is quite a bit larger than that CW380. It's still a, a compact pistol, pretty small still. Um, but it's it's definitely a lot larger than that CW380. Now, if I still had that, uh, I would show you to compare, but I don't. Although you could probably Google images of CW9 versus CW380 and see the difference for yourself. Uh, but anyways, essentially, this is the 9mm version of it. So, as I said, single stack, hold 7 in the mag. Of course, you can do 7 plus 1. Uh, double action only, as I said. And I'm really liking the double action triggers on these cars. Um, I've not shot everything out there, but so far this is my favorite double action trigger uh, because it is extremely smooth all the way and they are lightweight. So even though it's a double action, uh, the the specifications on this is anywhere between six, six and a half pounds and that CW380 I had felt about the same too. So they're just a little bit heavier than most single most single action triggers. Um, some single action triggers though are in the six pound range. So depending on which gun you're comparing it to, it's not much heavier, if not heavier at all, than a single action. So I really like that because I've never liked the real heavy eight, nine, 10 pound double action triggers. Uh, for me, they cause me to do pretty horribly out there and pull shots like crazy. So I am way better with one of these double actions because of that lighter trigger. Uh, so there's your take up there. It is empty by the way. There's your take up, okay. And then just a long, steady, not too heavy pull all the way back until it goes off. So uh, I really like these because of that, as far as double action triggers go, because I hate double action triggers. Uh, but on the car, it doesn't mess me up too bad. I'm almost as good with this as I am a single action. Anyways, I'm not going to spend too much time yapping on it. Uh, so we're going to shoot this Blazer Brass, or Brass, a Blazer. Uh, but it is the aluminum case, okay? So if this gives us any feeding issues, which I doubt it will, I will switch to these brass here. And yes, they're hollow points, but I got a heck of a deal on these, so I pretty much only paid FMJ prices for these. So if I have to, I'll switch to those, but hopefully it'll run those okay. And unlike the CW380 I reviewed a few weeks or a couple months ago, um, this one looks pretty well used. I mean, not like beat up, but I could tell it's definitely got more miles on it. So I was discussing in the CW380 video that these cars have a pretty lengthy break-in period that take like three or 400 rounds generally before they'll run 100% flawless. Um, but I think this one's got a good bit of rounds to it, so hopefully it's ready to go for us. Uh, the CW did have a little bit of hiccups, but I was discussing in that if you use more powerful ammunition to fully cycle the slide there, it probably wouldn't be an issue anyways. Anyways, if you want to check out that video, like I said, link in the description. But let's get shooting this thing, and hopefully she's already broken in. So I'm just going to start on a target down there to see where I need to hold. Uh, about seven yards will be the distance that we'll be shooting. And this rear shot, blah, I can't talk today. Rear sight is windage driftable. So there's that. All right, well, I wasn't going for accuracy or anything like that. I was just seeing where I need to hold and seeing if it cycles. So, so far, no no issues. So, it's just doing a six o'clock hold here. Looks like I pulled a couple low there. But like I said, not trying to be accurate or anything. So, it looks like we are a little bit off to the right there. And like I said, that rear sight is uh, windage adjustable. So, I can't adjust that, but I'll do that at a later date because uh, I got a lot of videos I'm trying to fit in today. All right, so I missed that as about as much as I hit it. Uh, 
I hit it, I think, three times, four times, something like that. So I was aiming off to the left because it's off to the right down there, uh, but it kept going off to the left. So In the video, it appears that I'm missing off to the right, but I am, in fact, missing off to the left. It's just an optical illusion uh, due to the camera being off to the right side of me. I think those being off to the right, usually if I pull shots due to a double action trigger, I will pull off to the right and sometimes slightly low. So I think that's what was going on with the first magazine there. Now that I'm not focusing so much, I'm just trying to hit steel. It seems to be about dead on for me. So uh, that being off to the right, at least at this moment, seems like it was just me. So I'm just going to aim right at these targets uh, because I missed that one so much because I was aiming off to the left trying to compensate. Uh, so currently it looks like I actually do not need to compensate being off the right was probably just me because I was getting accustomed to the gun with that first magazine. All right, now we'll try it uh, seven plus one. So I got one in the chamber and seven in the magazine. All right, so as you can see, I did a little better there, but when I did miss, this time it was off to the right. Uh, so when they're going off to the right, that's just me pulling it because of that double action trigger, because I still need more training with double action. I don't shoot them very often. Like I said, I really prefer these cars if I'm gonna pick a double action, because it's a lot more manageable, but it does still get me a little bit. So I'll probably slow down my shots some out here and uh, work on pulling through that trigger nice and slow which obviously in a self-defense scenario you're not going to do that so it's going to affect your accuracy rapid firing um, but for the sake of hitting these targets out here i'm going to slow down a little bit at least for this next magazine All right, now we'll do seven plus one rapid fire on my 20 inch gong down here. Well, I did a little worse on that one, but you get the gist. The ones I was missing, I was just barely missing off to the right. But that's because that double action trigger getting me there. I also noticed I'm a little slower on that with that DA because uh, it's so long and heavy, it takes you longer to do this with your finger than it does with a single action that resets a lot shorter and it's a lot lighter. So I did notice that as well with the single action, I could keep every, sing every single shot on that and it'd be a little bit quicker too. But like I said, that's kind of the uh, whole thing with double actions for me. And um, you know, I don't think there's anybody that does better with a double action than a single, usually a little bit worse. So that's kind of par for the course there. You know, and the whole point too of double action is so that you can carry one in the chamber without a safety and not have to worry as much about, you know, on a quick draw, you accidentally bop the trigger and then have an accidental discharge. So if you didn't know, that's the whole point behind double action triggers. It's a safety thing for carrying one in the chamber for those who decide they want that. All right, so that's all 50 shots there, no issues whatsoever. So like I was saying in the beginning, it does appear that she's well broken in and that wasn't even brass. I mean, this stuff is pretty slick. They polish it up pretty good. Uh, but usually it's not like the federal uh, aluminum where it's kind of like rough. This blazer stuff has got a real nice polish to it. So it feeds, in my opinion, as good as brass. Uh, but anyway, so we didn't have any issues. Um, that was all 50 rounds except for there was two off camera. Uh, but that'll do her so thoughts on the gun like i said i don't prefer double action whatsoever i carry a single action pistol uh, but if i was to get a double action uh, as far as the trigger goes i would want the car trigger uh, the only thing i don't like is the capacity don't know if you can hear me there the only thing i don't like is the low capacity because in today's world you got like uh, the Hellcat and the P365 and all that 10 12 15 rounds and just as small as a gun I mean they're a little bit wider but so but if uh, you get a good deal on these or you know there's a lot of people out there that oh I don't need more than seven or eight rounds and, and for most scenarios that's true most self-defense scenarios so um, 
if you're looking at a uh, double action carry pistol and you're okay with the fact that this only holds seven plus one um, highly recommend it because like I said uh, my opinion as far as double action triggers go that's probably the best in the business right there that'll do her uh, like I said I'll put a link in the description of the CW 380 video if you want to check the 380 version of that out if you guys want to get yourself anything you see in the video like targets target stand your mouse bag anything like that links in the description as well but I appreciate you guys watching and I hope to see you on the next one